All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're playing some Warwick in the top lane. We're running Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Alacrity, Last Stand, Bone Plating, and Revitalize. We're going to try and go max attack speed Warwick, attack as fast as possible, because with this W, we get 70% attack speed against people that are below 50% health. And that increases by 250% once they get below 20%. So if I combine that with full attack speed, anybody who gets low is just going to get obliterated. And then we got Flash Barrier to bait people in. But yeah, I think I'm going to go Blade of the Ruined King first. So we have attack speed on hit and healing. Because if I don't heal while I'm attacking, I might just die. And then we'll go Blade, Kraken Slayer, Phantom Dancer gives a lot. Um, Nasher's Tooth also gives a lot of a attack speed. So we'll get that too. But yeah, Warwick Top is actually meta right now. Pretty sure we can beat this guy level 1. I could have maybe flash autoed him, but if I flash autoed and he didn't die there, um, I would just waste it, because he'd just flash. I guess we try to push this in. This next wave is going to freeze right in front of the turret, but it's fine, because we'll be level 3 and he'll be level 1, so he can't fight us. Wait a second. Oh, it's mid. I was about to say their jungler is low up here or something. But yeah, this is going to be a good team because they need to run at me to deal damage and get close to me. And I need them to be close to me for me to like attack really fast. Let's go reset, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll reset. Actually, no, the wave is uh, frozen for him. We don't want that. Who's our jungle? Yi. Need this to go into turret. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I should max my W first. Nah, I think Q is still better for early, so I'll max that. Cause only it only gives like 10% attack speed. Maybe I'll put points in both. Oh, nice! That hit a minion. And that missed. But if he's too close to turret, I can't kill him. Oh, we have a Ramus for Master Yi also. We're so good this game. Although the Ezreal is going to be the hardest one for me to deal with because he can actually outrange me. But maybe I could just ult and get him. But he does have Janna. Either way, he shouldn't do too much damage. I think my wave is... Uh, Pushing towards me, so I could just freeze this. And Ramus is zoning out Yi from coming up here. <laughs> He's not getting any minions. This is perfect. Chomp. Yeah, he's he's in trouble here. I could actually just base with the wave like this, and it should just go into me slowly, but he's uh, trying to kill my Ramus. He didn't leave. Dude, what is all this gold on my screen? This skin is crazy. I play like the default Warwick all the time, and I never even see anything. These are pay-to-win skins. I got them so fast, though, I could just run everywhere. I mean, if I pop my E, he's instantly going to walk away. Not bone plating. Aatrox has is, is already lost the game just off this wave being like this. He needed to base. Like, he's getting denied so much farm. All oh, these trails, man. He doesn't know what to do. Like, he wants to stay, but he can't. I'm just going to push this in. We have ult already. I have ult and he's level 4. Oh, Aatrox got a kill though. Oh, my cannon, no! Oh, he's level 5. I wanted to ult him, but I feel like he'd just live. And if he kills me there, then we're no longer ahead.
I was just getting the wave into turret so I could reset. I don't have that much mana though, so I don't want to waste it on Q. Because Yi could still gank me here. Oh my god, my team's getting destroyed. He hey, died to minions, let's go. He's still here. The skin has so much visual clutter. He didn't recall. Unless it's bugged. No, he's he's right here. Thing is, I feel like I won't be able to kill him. Because he's just gonna dash away or flash. Does he know I'm here? Like, it's so weird how scared he's playing. This is a reset, I guess. Okay, attack speed shoes for attacking faster. Actually, nah. Yeah, yeah we'll get the shoes. More swords. We already have a lot of attack speed. I mean, he has 19 farm. I think I lose this cannon, but it's fine. My wave's gonna be in a good spot again. I mean, since he got a kill on Ramus or whoever, I just need to freeze again, deny him more. I'll ult just to scare him, but I really want to get to the wave faster. That's why I'm ulting, or not ulting a W. W is basically an ult because of how long the cooldown is. But yeah, I just freeze this and now he gets behind even more. And that way, when he does decide to fight me because Master Yi is going to be here, I'll be able to 1v2. I wonder if he is ghosting him, but I mean, they knew I was playing yesterday or earlier in, in the day. They knew I was on the enemy team, but it's just weird that he stood by turret. Maybe because he was still getting marked by my W. If I, You know what? That's probably it. If I were to have recalled, then it wouldn't show the trail on him, but it was showing the trail on him still, so he probably knew I was in range. I mean, maybe he's that smart. I don't know. I doubt it was warded, though. He never left the turret. Either way, I'm still super far ahead of him. Yeah, we'll do Blade, Kraken, Nashers, Phantom Dancer, or Phantom Dancer, Nashers. Nashers does give 50% attack speed, but I think Phantom Dancer gives a little bit more when you're fully stacked. I'll have to check. Uh, I don't want to miss minions, though. Dude, everybody on their team is just low. No, it goes the whole map, actually. Never mind. I don't know. I think he was just scared he was marked because he was low. I mean, this guy is not coming up to me, so I have to keep playing like this, or else he'll just slowly get ahead off freezing himself. Do I even beat him? I think I do. <laughs> I got scared at first. We weren't doing any damage, but I think it was the bone plating. But I mean, I still had barrier and alt. Oh god, 6 and 0 Ezreal. That is a really bad sign cuz Ezreal is not supposed to win lane. Like he is very weak. This is going to be a very hard game. At least we got some action now. We killed him, finally. For some reason, I thought I already first-blooded him, but he got away with low health. I mean, look, 91 to 23. <laughs> Even though I only have one kill, he's probably down, like, five or six kills. It's, it's over for him. Plus, he's going lethality. I don't think he'll be able to burst me. I want plating. We may have uh, mana issues. I could actually beat him here, I think. Oh god. I'm gonna turn in a second. I just wanna get away from him. God damn it, dude. I fucked up. I feared him and it actually saved him. I shouldn't have used my E. Oh, and he's got Herald. Okay, well Aatrox is back in the game. 
I misplayed that. I shouldn't have used E, actually. I forgot that it makes Yi run away super fast. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Work on the blade. I should have just left. Okay. He might have Yi. He have all oh, he doesn't have alt. But look at me. I get to run back up there really fast. Follow the trail. I guess I should have not run away. I should have just started fighting back because running away got me too low. But I was trying to like bait him in, but unfortunately, I feared him so I couldn't hit him anymore. But yeah, this guy will literally only fight me if he's here, just by how he's playing. Maybe I'll go roam. Like, I can't kill him under turret. Hey, nice. He stole dragon. Okay, I gotta go clean this up. I think they're winning the fight anyway, though. I didn't need to do anything. I didn't need to do a thing. As soon as I get Blade of the Run King, though, Aatrox should not be able to fight me. I mean, he shouldn't be able to fight me right now. Oh, Aatrox ignited me, too. Oh, yeah, the ignite's gonna mess me up, but... Blade of the Run King should make it better. Because, like, right now, right now I actually don't even deal damage. Like, once I have Blade, that's where my damage is gonna come from. Oh my god, he got Bramble Vest too? That's fine. I mean, I'm gonna get ignited anyway, so why does it matter? I'm gonna pretend I base, so he pushes. I need, I need 300 more. This guy is just so passive. So passive. Ow. Actually does a lot of damage. Well, now he'll maybe fight me since he does damage. Yeah, Silas is coming up too. What are you going to do? Dive me? There he goes. Well, we got mid turret for him roaming. He do not want to fight me. I think they're coming up top again, or he is. I'll just alt away. Let's go get our blade. I'm still a lot of CS up on him, but he's slowly coming back. Let's see, Phantom Dancer gives 25 plus another 30. So this gives a little bit more than Nashers. But it needs to stack up. Actually, I might just go the... Oh yeah, I want a Kraken Slayer too, though. Oh my god, I thought he wasn't going to die. Uh-oh. I just backed up. Unless... Oh, that bind. Bind hit. He's dead. That's really good. Okay, if Ramus is on killing spree, we're fine this game. Nashers... No, I need Mythic. I need Kraken Slayer. And then after that, we'll see. Oh, we, we fucking melt him now. Wow. Okay, well, it's not even close. As soon as I finish item, it's just done. Like I said. Oh yeah, how much does Rage Blade give? Where's Rage Blade? I forgot about that. Uh, 
40. Oh, okay. There's a lot of items I got to build then. There's a E. Jesus. I don't think we'll get him. Maybe Ramus can catch him. Nah, he's too fast. Well, he only reduces 25% healing. The thing is, I do heal a lot, but, like, I also deal a ton of damage, so. I ain't worried about that. Yeah, look what happens if I get in range of you, buddy. I mean, if I'm not hitting him, I'm going to heal back to full on minions anyway, though. Ari's coming to dive. That was quick. Probably didn't even need her. Bloodthirster, the problem... Well, we're not doing a healing build. We're doing attack speed. I want all the attack speed I can get. Play the Rune King doesn't even give the most attack speed. It only gives 25%, but I kind of need it for lifesteal. I need to survive. Plus, it gives really good damage. We got his turret. Thing is, I'm only really good at fighting in a side lane. I'm not going to be that good in team fights. Actually, I'll do damage, but I'm going to die quick. He had two heralds. Wow. Kraken's an extra thousand. Yeah, we have to get Kraken next. I mean, the um, the Phantom Dancer will synergize pretty well with the Kraken, but I think I'll do Nashers and then I'll do Rage Blade because that will actually give a lot more damage and a lot of attack speed. Where is Aatrox? This guy does not want to come out. There he is. Well, I think if Yi comes up here, I might be able to 1v2 him. I just have to focus Aatrox because Yi's just going to like dodge my auto attack somehow. He's on his way up here. I'm just going to fear him right away. Oh my god, my attack speed. Okay, we just wiped him. I got scared for a second. I didn't know Ezreal was there. I took out their 8-kill Ezreal like nothing. I'm gonna just blade. Look at this. It's done 2,000 damage already. This item's so OP. I'm gonna take this Gronk too. And I was sitting on like 3k gold there. Hey, thanks for the resub on Twitch Prime. Attacking fast. Alright, Nashers gives a ton of attack speed. Let's pick that up. Daggers it is. Uh oh. If he cues her bind dies, I think. It's faster. Throw the Q! There you go. I think she's yeah she's out the chompers okay we should like melt Aatrox even faster now because now I deal true damage and if I ult right away it's gonna fully stack my lethal tempo I think or it hits four times 
then auto queue after. I try and just kill him under turret. I feel like I could just tank it. I'm dead. I mean, I got him. I got ignited. Ooh, the Nash is gonna make us do a lot of damage. The problem is, like, Aatrox is never coming out of turret, and I need to get these turrets or else he's just gonna keep farming, and I don't want a team fight. I want them to come to me, I don't wanna go to them. He dead. I could actually, I could probably solo Baron with this build right now. I might have enough healing. I mean, I could just I could just die of him again. If I have a wave, maybe I can get out. The problem is Warwick is insanely slow if he doesn't have his like this on. No way! I can't even stay in range to auto attack him. I'm so fucking slow. Whatever. He flashed though, didn't he? That's so lame, I can't even fucking auto him. He's faster than me. Whatever, once I have Nashers, I think he just insta-dies. Well, we get this. Oh, maybe. Well, he's in the pit alone. I think he's just dead. <laughs> Master Yi and Duramus is just like automatic fucking loss. He could've actually stole that though, unless he smited to heal it. Yeah, I should have waited all his W canceled it. I only got like two ticks of the ult off. I just I thought I'd be able to auto attack him. He just is faster than me because his ult gives him move speed. And he has a dash and flash. But surely this time we'll get him, right? Is it what is he getting? A frozen heart too? Are you building a frozen heart on Aatrox? What is wrong with you? He's just like, he sits under the turret, too. He's not coming out. Whatever, we'll get him. Oh, look at that. Just waiting under the turret, buddy. I'm just going to hit the turret and tank it. I don't care. Yeah. Got no turret now, bud. Run away. Go somewhere else. He used blue. John is over here. Oh, I might be dead. I got perma CC'd. Oh, at least we got the Janna. Wow, they don't really hurt him. Master Yi's gonna die from he died from hitting him. Oh my god. I can't I can't tank four people. I didn't have barrier there, which sucked. If I had barrier, I might have lived. Nashers. Um what do we go next? Rage Blade or Phantom Dancer? Oh uh, he's no he's Oh my god, the morgue's hitting their binds. Wait, she's gonna solo kill him. It's worth. More attack. Let's do the Rage Blade. That's going to give me even more on hit. More attack. I'll just go bot now. 
Surely they can't send five people bot. Also, I didn't have E for that fight. I used it on the try to hit the Janna before I ulted. But then she knocked me up, so then I had to ult. But if I had if I had E and barrier there, I probably would have been able to tank them all, but I died so fast. I just need the whole team to go like somewhere else and not follow me around, because then they send everybody on their team for me. But the Janna really like kinda ruins me because what do you do? Because she CCs me so much I can't auto attack. Oh. oh my god, he didn't die. My last auto didn't go off. Unfortunate. No, the fucking CC. I should have just left. Damn it! I just I fear them, and then they they're so fast I can't hit them. It sucks. Report the Yeetard, please. Oh my god. Or if he quit. I mean, it doesn't matter if he's in the game or not. He's just gonna die to Ramus every time he presses E. I need my Rage Blade. And I wish they had a tank or like somebody that would fight me, but every fight is either all of them on me when I'm low health already, or Aatrox just being a coward, building anything to like get away from me. can I do, man? Oh, he's still playing. Yeah, it's like the perfect game for Ramus. All of them auto-attack him and just die. Like, even even the best Yi player in the world would have a hard time versus Ramus like this. There's just nothing he can do as a champ. I just want to be able to attack enough to, like, get my lethal tempo stacked and see how much attack speed I have, but the problem is they they die so fast or they they just kite me and run. I literally just went off of his normal build just so I can't, like, attack. The Randuin's the fucking slow me, so I can't even auto him, man. Oh, lame. Oh, hello. Wait, what? Bro. Oh. There we go, finally. I'm dead here, though. Oh. If only I had my fucking ear barrier. Dude, Silas can apparently use his chains while I'm ulting him and cancel it. But I attacked so fast there. Did anybody see what my attack speed went to? I fucking melted them. I almost have Rage Blade. Oh, I do have Rage Blade. And my, my E and my barrier are just never up at the right time. I could have gotten Aatrox. Yeah, they win this. All right? Oh. Oh. This actually doesn't do damage. The Janna. Oh, no. He sniped Mork, too. Okay, we just get a... I guess Phantom Dancer last will give us more attack speed unless there's something else. I, almost felt that. I think it's Phantom Dancer. Need more attack speed. And then if I'm struggling to auto-attack him still, we can maybe sell an item, try something else. You already know they're all coming up here for me.
I have 3.09 attack speed. But I need to be hitting somebody that's low. It might have shown on Silas, but I might have killed him as soon as I got full stacks. I'm not getting attack speed. No, I am. Alright, GG. I wish we could have got better fights, but those two at the end were good. It's just like their team did kind of counter me for attacking. Just too much to kite me. And Aatrox was like the biggest coward ever. But we, we hit pretty fast. 3.59 attack speed. Not bad. Not bad at all. We We were melting them. If we could actually hit them, we melted them. But Ramus just countered their team so hard, so they couldn't do shit anyway. We didn't do the most damage, but we did a lot of damage. We attacked really fast. Uh, lethal Tempo was up for 71 seconds. Uh, Aatrox just, like, refused to fight us the whole game because he knew he'd lose. 1,000 damage, last stand. Uh, Revitalize and Bone Plating kept us alive a little bit longer, but yeah. Oh, attack speed peaked at 4.64. Oh, 4.83. Oh, chat was lying to me. Okay. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And last but not least, leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. And see you tomorrow. Peace.